What are these? Wow, that is just absolutely insane. These are the caterpillars of the lobster moth. My name is Bart Coppens and I study butterflies and moths. And this year I'm doing an experiment by breeding a lot of this bizarre creature. An experiment was successful. I collected footage of their development and early life stages. I obtained them as eggs. A friend of mine gave them to me. I incubate the eggs in a petri dish. Look at that. These are the newly hatched babies, just one day old. And they already look very unusual. Look at this bunch of weirdos. I prefer to feed them the leaves of oak tree. Over time they grow larger. And I know exactly how to raise them. I'm a specialist when it comes to raising rare or unusual moth species. If you don't believe me, then check out my other videos. The caterpillars of these species have very unusual elongated leg segments. Why they evolved them really hasn't been researched, but theories vary from having a defensive function or perhaps a form of mimicry. Who knows, honestly, but it's fun to speculate. People should study the reaction of predators to their legs and threat poses. I've been breeding a lot of them, as you can see. Breeding moths is a strange hobby. It isn't very popular at all. In fact, stick insects are popular as pets. And when people do decide to keep pet insects, they often pick stick insects, beetles or even a praying mantis. But moths? Nah, that rarely happens. But I am different. And it's actually quite easy to breed certain moth species. Folks, here we go. A handful of lobster moths. Have you ever seen this insanity? Oh, I know some of my viewers are just gonna freak out when they see this. And let's be real, it is freaky. They are freaky. They are the most alien aliens that I've reared. Yo. So cool. So yeah, this is what it looks like and this is how you can breed the lobster moth if you are interested. Whoa, they are really beautiful. This is the maximum size. They don't grow bigger than this, really. This is completely fully grown. Days away from spinning cocoons. Very cool. This is one of the coolest moths, really. Sorry if it's taken many years for me to finally film the life cycle. I'm a very busy man and filming these life cycles is very difficult. You know, it has a very long production time. Some of these videos take six months to film or more. I do have some caterpillars left. Take a good look at them, because this is probably the last time you'll see them in this video. Very cool. Their legs are crazy. Hope this video will be popular and that many people will view it and share it. It does seem that for one reason we have one caterpillar that has lost his legs. Poor thing, I don't know how it's done that. Maybe it got stuck when it's shedding its skin, it happens sometimes. Kind of struggles to walk, but it still it seems to be fully grown, so it'll hopefully grow into a moth because of my good care anyway, despite its disability. Wow. A lot of people are freaking out at these caterpillars when I show them. Some people literally scream. After a while they pupated. These are the pupa. They are shiny and dark in color. So they turn into moths pretty soon. And here's the lobster moth in a moth form. A bizarre looking species. But perhaps the moth is much more unremarkable than the caterpillars are. They are simply grey and hairy. It's like they're wearing a fur coat. The lobster moth is found in Europe and temperate Asia. These moths do live for a short time. Only for about a week. They do not have a functioning mouth and cannot feed themselves. They are essentially doomed to starve. As sad as this may sound, moths are unusual pets. They don't live very long, like stick insects and tarantulas do. So expect to enjoy them for a week, or two, if you are lucky. The good news is that they will mate, lay eggs and pair very easily. Place them together in a pop-up cage and they will procreate. Just collect all the eggs in petri dishes or plastic containers and keep them on room temperature for two weeks. Before you know, creepy alien babies will pop out and the life cycle is completed. Great. 
If you like these bizarre caterpillars, then do subscribe to my channel. I'm an entomologist YouTuber that films the rare or unusual species of butterflies and moths. And if you subscribe, you can see many species in high definition. Take these for example. Believe it or not, but there's even crazier caterpillars out there in the world. Thousands of species. Just subscribe and I will show you the coolest, the rarest and most unusual ones you can possibly see. Amazing. See you in the next video. I'm working on rare species behind the scenes. Okay.